and welcome back to my channel. This weekend I'm with my sister, Sarah, Hi. and we are actually going to her classroom and setting up her classroom today. So we're currently <laughs> in line at Starbucks and we have all of her stuff in the back seat. The car is packed full. That's like not even a third of her things. Ten boxes. Yeah, it's going to be a fun day. I figured I would make a vlog out of it and take you guys along with us because I've never set up a classroom. I've been in a few classrooms, but I've never been able to be in this position to set it up and kind of get a feel for layout and everything. So I think it's gonna be fun. I will update you guys once we get to her site and we will go from there. Okay, so when you come in, you just have like the traditional flooring. I'm gonna shut the door and turn the light on. Bless you. <laughs> um, okay, so this is a general overview from the door of her classroom. It's actually pretty spacious. This is the stuff that we brought in. So, not too crazy, but... Say hi. <laughs> um, her main window. And a bunch of cabinets for like storage. So that's pretty nice that she's got all that storage. And then the back wall is this like soft stuff that you can put... Well, it's not soft, but you know what I mean? You can put stuff in it and not worry about ruining the wall. And then there's her front wall. She's got two whiteboards and a cork board. Well, I guess those are both kind of cork boards right there. But, and then she has like her projector. That's like another soft wall, right? This is the projector and this is the whiteboard. Yeah. Each and the air conditioner kicked on, so but I don't what know. what I understand, you don't write on this. Oh, it's a smart board, right? right. Or I, I think you can, but everyone says it's difficult to get off, so we just don't. Oh, okay. We're gonna set up the chairs in a little bit. That's probably the first thing that we're gonna do. This is her other side of the wall, so here, I'll turn. There's the front door. And then like this. Oh, going out of focus. And here's her little desk area. Probably has like a service closet of some sort. I'm not sure. Is this a storage closet or a service closet? I think that's like a Oh, it's locked, but. Oh, okay. And then her little filing cabinet that we're gonna put to good use. And here's her little desk. Oh, and I'll show you this gem that I found back here. Well, this is kind of what's left over from the previous teacher too. We have to figure out what we're gonna do. Oh. <laughs> well, this is the timeout corner, I guess. Yeah, we're probably gonna put something pretty over that. We're gonna get the tripod set up and then we're going to figure out the seating chart or how we're gonna, how she wants the room set up basically. And we'll go from there. And I look stunning. This is just great. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. We couldn't get this cabinet to move, so we laid it down. And what? It's an egg. That's an egg. I've seen arachnophobia. Oh! Oh! What? On the wall. Where? <gasps> I told you! <laughs> this whole... You know what? You quit. I don't quit. <laughs> Here, bleach. Okay, so now we just gotta Okay, hold thing. on, hold on. We have all of, like the major areas set up, I would say, right? Uh, like format or layout wise. Yeah, all of the heavy lifting. <laughs> we set the chairs up. 
uh, we have way too many for her to get like a row, so like a clean row. So we do have a few students who are going to be on the back wall. And, and then right now we're just kind of working through this space. We moved the um, filing cabinets and that's where all of our spiders were hiding. So that was nice. And then this is going to be a student bookshelf for her. And then in here, I don't know what that is. Um, it's got a lot of the leftover supplies in here, but we're just going to go through and organize like the big things and get like maybe cleaning supplies and then extra stuff. When we go get lunch, we're probably going to bring back something that we can clean this with because they just look worn and a little bit of laundry detergent should, for, uh, should fix that. I'm going to put my cell phone jail here. It is a calculator rack. It is basically going to be you store your electronic devices. Anytime you take quizzes, <laughs> tests, anything, including your watches. Um, oh, like smart watches, huh? Right. Yeah. And if you're not supposed to be on your phones and I catch you, go store it in number one spot or whatever. Yep. Okay, so we are back from the store and I feel like we just made a bigger mess. Like, all of this stuff. We did manage to get this bookshelf set up and now I'm going to start cleaning the chairs and then trying to get the shelf ready to go. I'd like to kiss you, but I just washed my hair. Bye! The camera died for a little bit, so I let the battery charge, but... Um, so we put all of like the textbooks and any of the curriculum-based books that they're going to be using over there. So right now my sister is setting up her big cabinet. She already set up her library, and this is like her desk area. We bought um, a little bookshelf from Walmart for her personal library and for anything that the students want to kind of borrow from her. And then what else? We hung like her decor. I cleaned up the chair a little bit. I don't know if it really helped, to be honest. Um, oh, and we got this cute little pillow that she got for her, her chair. Honestly, this chair might change. It's still kind of damp. It might change because she might bring. It might change because she might bring hers from home, but right, maybe. Maybe. So yeah, just stuff to make it look a little bit more cozy, I would say, huh? Because yes. nobody wants a classroom that feels like a prison. No. So yeah, we've just been kind of setting up and trying to figure out what to do. Um, this is all the stuff from the previous teacher, so we won't be using any of that um, and now she's just kind of moving into her little area and we set up the cabinet with like cleaning supplies and then snacks of course always <laughs> and she's just kind of unloading um, her binders and stuff and that's the this is the student library any of the books that they want to borrow and yeah I tried, I think I got a little bit of footage of this. I tried to clean up these chairs. Um, I just put a little bit of OxyClean in a bucket and who knows, they, I mean, it probably just made them look a little lighter. And then we got rugs from Walmart. Yeah, just stuff to make it look a little bit more like someone actually, or works. Yeah, like, just try to make it look like somebody um, cares about this space and is investing in this space. So yeah, we got the boards cleaned up over here and I would say we're almost done. So I'm gonna set you guys back on the tripod and yeah. And there you have it, 
We are completely done. What time did we get here? At like 10? Yeah, we got here like, yep, 10 in the morning. We left a little bit for lunch. But other than that, her room is completely done. Well, I mean, aside from what like students would add. This was actually kind of fun. I told her that I didn't think that we would get this much done. Like it looks, it literally looks like she's been here for a couple weeks. <laughs> So she just has like her little corner over here with the desk and the front area. There's not really much going on over there because it's all like textbooks. And then we got her desk a little organized. So she just has like her washi tape. This is the washi tape drawer, <laughs> basically. And then um, more like office supplies. Let's see, I think, oh yeah. A lot of these cleaning rags because this place was very dusty just from sitting empty. And we have a little bit more going on in here. Marshalls, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, this one is empty because this is where she'll keep her purse. And we just have like her desk area. And then these are just a couple signs that I think my mom, my mom, I think grandma or mom bought this for her. I'm not sure, but I made that for her a couple Christmases ago. And then, um, this will probably, I think I already told you guys what that would be. And she put up her calendar and her college pennants. So, banners, schmanners, yeah. And then the filing cabinets are empty right now because obviously there's no files. And then she has like her little reading nook. Yeah. We have like the little corner for the brooms. I keep saying we. I think I showed you guys a little bit of this, but the top one is just for cleaning and then she's got like her binders and she set up a lot um, a lot more of her supplies and there's that pillow. And then just like printer stuff at the bottom, so. Pretty neat. Oh yeah, and I'll show you. She, whoa, that is beautiful noise. She added, this is called the cell phone jail. And I think we're gonna redo that sign, right? Reuse what we already have. And this is the cell phone jail that I mentioned. And then during like tests or quizzes, each student will come up and put their phone or like smart watches in the, um, that area. And then her board, we just put some signs down there. We also hung the strongly agree and like agree somewhat or somewhat agree. The four corners of what's gonna be if they ever have debates. This thing is so cute. And I think what she has decided to do, it is a little bit up high, but any, any like school events that they do, print them out and then just like tape them up there. Tape them up there with like washi tape or something. That would be really cute. Yeah. So I really like it. We, we got it at Marshall's a long time ago and it just has a bunch of like positive affirmation quotes on it. Super cheesy, but really cute. <laughs> so yeah, I think that is it. We're both super exhausted and we look like hell. As always, thank you guys for watching and I know that this is kind of a different style, it's not a DIY, but I do wanna kind of get into more vlogging style videos to kind of share my life with you. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.